Five, four, three, two, one. What we got? Yo, welcome back to Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby. Woo! <laughs> yeah, let's get this going. This is my second one back in. Doing reviews again, people. I just like to do them. I mean, even if they don't get a bunch of views, I'm going to do them anyway just because I like doing them. I'll continue to do the shorts because that's what generates the thousands and thousands of views. All right? That's helping my channel blow up. Mrs. Bad Axe, the producer, her idea, she's the brains, right? So just do what she says and we'll be fine, right? A little wisdom for you fellas. Right, so uh, Off Duty Brand, the Off Duty Brand. Go check them out on Instagram and the website, right? Off Duty Brand, all kinds of great stuff. Firefighter Buddy, that's his business, right? Go check them out. It's apparel, hats, shirts, got all kinds of stuff. Check them out. They got great stuff. Off Duty Brand. All right, what we got for you today? What we got for you today, people? Let's check it out. We got... 13th Colony, right? 13th Colony Bourbon. We got 95 proof, batched in 2024, and it's bottle number. Very special bottle, people. Very special number there. Uh, number 4,625. Very, very special bottle. Guaranteed no one else will have that bottle, right? So it is very special. Whether it's number one or number 4,625, each bottle is its own bottle. All right, so we got 95 proof. It's about, what, 35 bucks? Supposed to be like 35 bucks? I don't know. 40. I mean, under 45. You know, I can see it for there. I Actually, I have never seen it in California. I, I can't get it here. I don't know if it's sold here. don't think they distribute out here. I had to go to Texas, actually, at Specs in Fort Worth to get this. Right? So let's... Let's go here. There was a lot of controversy about uh, 13th Colony a while back. We covered it on the, on the Whiskey 6. Go check out the Whiskey 6. We covered it there. All right, so let's see what we got. Uh, let me see what this uh, childproof uh, plastic cat got for me here. All right, here we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Have to break my bad axe knife out or what? The heck? Let's get this bad axe knife out here. Actually, this is baby bad axe's knife. You guys know he's in the Air Force now. He graduated basic training. And uh, now he's at the Fire Academy in San, well, not San Antonio, Texas, San Angelo, Texas. Doing very well, might I add. Very well. So, uh, yeah, he's in his, I believe his fourth week of the Fire Academy now, doing all kinds of cool stuff. So, it was cool. I went through the same Fire Academy. It just wasn't in Texas the time I went through it. It was in uh, Illinois when I went through. So, we get to have all this talk and compare and contrast stuff. Cool. We're having great conversations right now. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It sounds like he is, too. So, it, it's been fun. So, let's get a little on this here. All right. Woo! I will say it's a good pop. Good pop. Let me uh, get a little bit right here. So you guys saw that was a fresh crack. Fresh crack. Fresh crack. So I mean, we got we got here. It's a uh, produced and bottled by Thirteenth Colony distilleries in Georgia. That's what the bottle says. So there's a lot of controversy on it. Go check out. If you want to hear more about that, go check out the Whiskey 6 mm, a couple episodes ago. I think it was the second episode. Go check it out. Whiskey 6. Anyway, hey, we got another episode coming out pretty quick. Me and uh, a few other uh, YouTube channels. The Bourbon Drop, Whiskey Wars, Bourbon School, and the Bourbon Note Well. All right. 
So let's get a little bit on the nose on this sucker. A, a lot of caramel on the nose on this one. A lot. It's sweet. I mean, there's another sweetness in there besides besides the caramel too. Of course. Of course we're gonna get those the normal bourbon stuff, the the caramel and vanilla. I, I'm getting vanilla as well, but there's something else in there that's just not normal. It's not bad, it's just not normal. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's like a nuts, like the husks, like a like an, like almonds. If you have a egg. Hey, when I was a kid, he's growing up on dairy, at least when I was a kid, we had a whole bunch of almonds. We had to break the almonds out of the little shell, the little husks, you know, that they that they come in before we could eat them, right? They just come in bags, right? They were unsalted and all that stuff. You're breaking them out of the shell, people. But I'm getting a little bit of that on here, which is kind of nice. It gives me a little flashbacks to my childhood, which uh, I'm enjoying. A little earthy too, maybe a little earthy. All right. Ooh, that's got uh, got some legs on it though. Hey now. Yeah. Oh, nice legs on there. I mean, it's a little light. A little, the color's a little light, but it's four years, right? It's there's no age statement, but it's uh, it's a southern bourbon whiskey. Handcrafted small batch. All right, 13 colony Southern bourbon whiskeys, well rounded, multiple double gold. Okay, blah 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 blah. As it goes over the what they think it tastes like and smells like. But let me see here. Well, the mash bill is what 70% corn, 21% rye, and 9% malted barley. All right, let's let's go to the palate, people. wood chips in there man i miss doing these reviews i miss complaining about wood chips in my glass a little peppery oh my gosh that's got some that's got some good flavor it's got some heat without being burning right it's drying off in the back a little uh tanniny uh let me see here. Let me, let me get some more. Let me get some more of this. Second taste, right? Second sip. Yeah, a little bit of... That's, that's nice. It's easy, actually. It's only 95 proof. But it's easy. Easy sipper. It's got good enough flavor for if it's supposed to be... I mean, MSRP, at least... When this came out, it was like thirty-one. So I'm so under forty bucks. From what I'm getting right now, I definitely I wouldn't pay over that for sure. For what I'm getting right now, definitely pay. There, I'd pay thirty-five to thirty-five to forty bucks for this, right in that range. Right. Yeah, I think that's what this is. This is worth. I mean, it is. It is a, a craft distillery. It's a, this is a small batch from a. I don't know how many. What bottle is this? 2,000. Um, I'm sorry, 4,625. So, I don't know. That's a lot of bottles. A lot of small batch bottles. I mean, I think it is. Uh, what else can we say about this? Still sweet on the on the nose. It is sweet on the palate. It, it's, it's nice. It's nice and easy. Nice and easy. But it's not like blowing up with flavor or anything like that. There's... Some nice subtle flavors in there. Okay, it's getting a little sweeter now, which I like. Getting some uh, brown sugar, I think. See, as I say, it's getting sweeter, but it's going in a little different direction. I'm, I'll go, I'll go a little bit of brown sugar. It's I've got that little spice. It's not like spicy, but it's like that black peppery. Allspice, maybe I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll jump over to allspice because it's like a, a coating of the of the palate, the tongue. 
nice and even. It just kind of goes away. And the, I don't know, it's, at, at first it had some dryness, but I'm not thinking now. First sip or two had some dryness. No, I'm just getting a little, a uh, little more oak now, which I don't mind. I like, I like a little bit of that oak. I, I like a little bit of most of the stuff. I just don't want to have one, one thing just overpowering. I, I don't want it to be this all caramel, all vanilla. I like it strong and sweet, but I want some, I want a little bit of complexity in there. But we start getting into the lower price ranges. You expect less of that. Expect don't expect the proof to be too high. Don't expect to be blowing up in flavors and all that stuff. Now you're looking at the the mid 40s and 50 to mid 50s range where you start. You should be getting that right. So anyway, we got, we're gonna wrap this sucker up, right? Okay, so 13th Colony small batch, 95 proof, the 2024 batch. Let's give it some axes, people. I'm going to give this three and a half axes, people. Three and a half. There's my half. All right. That's it. Wrapping it up. 13th Colony, small batch to 2024 batch. <laughs> Bottle number... 4,625. Very, 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 very small batch. Anyway, that's it. What do we like to say on this channel? Sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad axe. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.